Hello, welcome to today's video. What we're going to be doing, we're going to be renovating this front lawn. It's been down a year. We renovated it in June, so it's due one more before the autumn and then we can sign it off and have one last hurrah before the autumn comes. So without further ado, let's crack on. Okay, so if you remember two weeks ago, we'd just done the back and they had a walk over the front. Looked all right because the sun was shining, but it's not now, but you can see now, so thick and we're getting a lot of leaf spot a lot of necrotic growth there, very thick. So what we need to do is we need to get rid of all this. We're not going to dig it up or anything. We're just going to give it a really good scarify like we did in the, in the back and at former Britain's Best Lawn and those have come back absolutely fantastic. You'll see the results of that at the end of the video. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the ye old faithful out, a couple of passes quite deep, and then I'm going to get the scarifying attachment out and then that'll really help. That, that scarifying attachment is going to work wonders today because it's really going to make a difference by getting all this, this stuff out because this won't all come out. There's too much of it for the yield faithful to deal with. So that scarifying attachment is going to be the perfect tool to do this. And not only that, it picks the stuff off as well. So happy days. Okay, so for those of you who have never been introduced to the yield faithful, here she is. I'm getting on for 15 years old now called ye old faithful because she very well very rarely lets me down occasionally the pull card will snap but that's not her fault that's my fault for pulling it too hard so underneath what we have is blades good thing is we can still get these so they're still really sharp not really sharp but they're pointy you know when i replace them they've gone down to that much so there's still plenty on there a bit wobbly but that's fine most of the new ones are anyway so how many are there? One, two, three, I think there's 12. But as you can see, there's quite, there's quite a big gap between them. So even though we're, these are spinning round, they're not going to do anything in this middle bit. We'll do a double pass, so that'll hopefully cut that in half. But with the scarifying attachment after, we're going to get 100% coverage with it. So anyway, let's crack on. All right, so got quite a lot of stuff up. I don't think it's worthwhile going on with a scarifying attachment yet on the alert because I think there's just far too much to pick up and I'll just be emptying the grass box every stripe. <clears throat> I've had a very, bit of a boo-boo over here. Um, there wasn't much grass there because this is where the tree drips and birds poo. So I went over that and it just ripped it up. So we'll have to reseed that area. But to have to do that once this year, I think we've had a great year under here, really do. A bit under there as well. It was quite dry as well. I had to water it the other day just because it was beginning to show the Brillo pad effect. So I got the hose out and give it a good dousing, which really brought it back. Uh, but there it's just too far gone. There's hardly any grass there, so there's no roots holding the soil together. Hence why it's ripped up like that. Spinning Jenny's problem at the minute as well. And there's loads of them up there on this Ace of Crimson King. On the underside doesn't look very much like a crimson king the purple aspect of it is now beginning to decline and it's looking more green than crimson and that means one thing autumn is on its way and all these leaves are going to be falling on it i'm not quite sure how i managed to get this up and away last september with all these leaves and that but we did and we've had a great year so let's have a great end to it so i'll get the hair out. well it's already out from doing the back I must say again back's looking absolutely fantastic there it is so we'll get it on been cutting this on number two so i know i can go down to number two anyway and then we'll cut it with the cylinder later on get it really short feed it liquids and away get it watered it's supposed to rain later anyway but we might give it a water before we go get it all washed in and then this one's good to go for another few months
All right, done a good job with that. Let's just have a look at it up close. So looking a bit freer of all that dead material, I'll show you that in a sec. So what we'll do is now we'll get with that scarifying attachment and hope to get rid of some more of that. And then I might go over it with the vertical tin attachment as well. But we'll see how we get on, just to try that out on this lawn for the first time. Let me just show you inside the bag. Full bin bag, full of stuff, all that was in the lawn. Now you might ask, why is it important to get all this out? Why can't you just leave it in? It's like turning it onto like human form. You can't just keep eating. You need to get rid of it at the other end as well to make room for the new stuff. You can't just keep piling on food and not getting rid of it at the other end. The same thing in the lawn. You can't just keep feeding it and feeding it and not freeing up some room for the new growth. So that's why we do it. So that when the new growth comes through, it's not overcrowding, it's just replenishing what's been removed. So that's the reason we do that. So yeah, let's get on with it. Okay, so I'm just played about with the scarifying attachment. I've just gone on zero and I've literally done just over a metre and that's what's come up. So I'm just going to continue at zero because I don't want to risk doing what I did last night at the beech nut job, the sheep job, because I don't want to obviously ruin this one. So we'll just go along with that and I think with what we're going to pull out, that'll be absolutely fine. So I've done eight full stripes and just look at all that stuff that's come out. All that in the lawn, sweaty, it's all wet and sweaty. If I was to leave that in the sun for like an hour, not that there's any today, but that would just get like steaming hot just because of all that dampness and bacteria that's in there that would just uh, rotting straight away. So, good job we went on with this, getting all this out. It's gotta be a good thing to get it out. I just can't believe it. Even though I've been doing it 20 odd years, and I always say it, but I'm always surprised how much it came out. And the, the shocking thing is, is that we've still got a lawn. So we've done the yield faithful, taken a lot out, full bin bag full. Just done again with that, half, we're halfway, but we've still got a lawn that looks like when we started. It's amazing how it, how it just hides away. But yeah, really glad we're gonna get it all out. So just off camera, I just did that second pass. Instead of going with the scarify twice, I went on with the vertical cutting attachment. And this is what we've pulled out so far. I've got just near the camellia today, I've got four strikes to do, but we've pulled this out as well. So it just keeps on coming, but you have to draw the line somewhere and this is where I'm drawing it. And then what we'll do is we'll get on with the hair to cut against the stripes we've created, just stand it all up and then get back on the cylinder, give it a final cut and then we'll get some products on. All right, so it's a lot freer. And do you know why it feels very firm underfoot as well? Which means that's a good thing because we're not standing on as much thatch as you've seen what we've taken out. So I can really feel me standing on the solid ground of the earth rather than spongy grass. So yeah, close up look. Still quite orange, but what you've got to remember is some of these blades that are left in will take up the feed and go green again and just grow out. So you're never going to get them all out. We've got enough out. So what I'll do now is, like I said before, rotary, but I'll go back on the stripes, this way that I created, so I'll come this way and go that way, and then get on with the cylinder, final cut, and then we'll get on with some products. All right, now, the camera picks up like that. That's how it looks to my eye. Like it did when I first started, that was not what it looked like, but that is how it actually looks now to my eye. So it's quite brown still, and a lot of you would say, bloody hell, I wish my lawn looked like that at best of it, at best at times, but we strive higher for that. So we're gonna get that. So what I've done is, I've done a, like a factory reset down to 15 mil, and it's just really short now. Want to leave a lawn for how to come on to, but yeah, it's really firm. Ah, be knuckle, it's that firm. It's not really, but uh, you get the idea. It's pretty firm. Go like that. The grass stands back up. You won't even know. Put me hand down, so that's a good sign that the grain's nice and firm. 
So what we'll do now is we'll get them with some equilibrium. It's just spitting. It's not going to cause too much of a problem. You don't want to be putting it on if it's chucking it down. But if it's like this, that's fine. And then hope it chucks it down after. I'll check the forecast and if it's not going to rain heavy, I'll get the water out and I'll give it a water before I go just to get the process underway and then it'll come on quicker. So yeah, so let's get the equilibrium on. Yeah, so we're just going on with the equilibrium. I just went on at 30 today just because it had some good results in the back. So I just want to recreate what I've got in the back, which you will see very shortly. And then once I've applied the equilibrium, I just go on and I just blow off the granules off the drive and off the stones around the borders. This just stops moss forming in the future. Okay, so I'm just going to repair this seed patch. What I'm using is this little handle gardena rake, soil rake. Just going to make some little indentations in this patch. We don't need much seed. We're not going to be throwing like loads down. We don't need to do that. So it's literally just a few sprinkles in the fingertips. And then what I'll do is I'll cover that over with a bit of compost or something. I'll find something from somewhere. We'll put it on and that is absolutely fine. Okay, so in the tank today, we've got Stella, we've got Orbit and we've got Grace. Orbit's really going to make a difference here today. And um, then we've got in there also Dan's Magic Liquid Lawn Feed and Slow Grow. All right, so that's my work here done in the front. Why, I hear you ask, do you never do a before and an after? I do sometimes, but if I do a before and an after, it's going to be like two to three weeks before I can get that done and up, in which time the time frame for you to do this as well has passed. So I try and do it live for you so then you can follow and get the same results as I do. Because if you start in three weeks this, it might not come back because of the weather from where you live and whatever. So I always just try to do it that way because of that. So if you remember last time we were here two weeks ago, we were around the back. Let's go around the back and I'll show you the results. I've got a few sets of results to show you. I've got some from when I first started cutting it to a couple of days ago when the sun was out and then I'll show you today's as well. And it's all looking really good. Before I show you the results, if we just have a look at what we did last time, we cut the lawn really short and then we scarified it, give it a double pass, hoovered it up with the hater, as you can see there, just using it as a vacuum. Then we went on with our equilibrium and our liquid products and then we gave it some water, just what we've done in the front. So let's join it back two weeks later. Okay, so I'm around the back. Now it is the Wednesday the 23rd of August. If it wasn't, I wouldn't have known that England ladies lost to Spain on Sunday, 1-0 in the final. Now you could say, well, I could have just made that up and recorded every possible outcome, but I didn't. I think you know that. So anyway, let's show you the results. Oh yes, oh, look at that. So I've double cut it today. It wasn't raining when I, when I first came. So I thought I'll double cut it. I started with the rotary first, going that way. And then I then cut it with a cylinder that way and finished off that way. Looks absolutely beautiful. Just looks like football pitch, which is what it is in essence, but no football is allowed on here. Really defined squares. So have a look down here and have a look. I'll show you this corner. Corner, not 100% happy with. Nothing's much happened with that seed really because it's just been mowed that much since we did it. It's just not come through and we had a heavy downpour and it's washed away. It's really probably worse than it was to be honest, wasn't it? So your only hope of a bit of a discount cord is this area really because I said it'd be 100% perfect, didn't I? So we'll have to have a chat about that in a bit. Let's show you from this angle. Oh yes, that isn't what my eye sees. So my eye sees it not as bright green as that, more of a subtle green. So I'll try and kind of get it in a format that represents what my eye sees. That's the problem with video footage. It doesn't ever show you what the eye sees. Have a look from down here. Just show you, oh, that's uh, it's not too bad either. So looking really good, really pleased with that. What I'll do now is I'll just upload the photos from earlier in the week and you decide which one looks best. Leave me comments. Do you prefer just straight lines with no lines going across to create the tartan or do you prefer the tartan because you get the squares? Is that your thing? So let me know. But other than that, I think two weeks uh, 
paying for two months gain has certainly paid dividends here. What I didn't tell you was that I put on some Galactic and Orbit on Monday. So that's two days ago. So it's really deep in that greenness that you can see. Okay, that's me done for today. Rain stop play, but luckily we managed to get everything done. What have we done? Well, we scarified with the ye old faithful and then we mowed the lawn to pick everything up with the scarifying. Oh, no, we didn't. All right, that's me done for today. Rain stop play, but luckily we were able to get everything done. What have we done? Well, we scarified with ye old faithful. We mowed the lawn to pick it all up. We went on with a scarifying attachment in the Alex Sterling and the vertical cutting attachment, and then we cut it again with the rotary mower and then finished off with the cylinder. Went on with some products, our equilibrium granular, and then we went on with Orbit, Stella, Grace, Dan's Magic, Liquid Lawn Feed, and Slow Grow. So two weeks, this is gonna be looking amazing, so I look forward to seeing you there. Hopefully you've seen the coupon code that will give you 20% off. If you haven't, tough luck, but maybe next time. So. If you've liked the video, give us a subscribe and we'll see you next time.